Welcome aboard another great drone flight through the Wild Horse Canyon. Sit back, relax, forget your troubles and escape for a few minutes. It's your chance to discover what wild horses do every day. It's early May in the canyon. The trees and vegetation are in spectacular bloom. It doesn't get any better for a small band of wild mustangs. After a long day of horsing around in the canyon, it's time for the long trek home for the evening. A pack of horses will consist of a lead stallion, or alpha male, who usually remains at the back of the pack to watch over and protect his pride, or family. Let's call him Al. Then there's always an alpha female, and she's usually the enforcer and the brains of the outfit. You want it done right? Have a woman do it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's call her three socks. Three of her four feet are white. As you journey along, you can keep an eye on her and how she's the one that truly runs the show. This is what I love about flying, observing a wild herd's movements, the hierarchy, and their communications. If only the drone had a microphone to hear the sounds and vocalizations. Al will constantly be on alert and looking to his left. What you cannot see is a group of bachelors off to his far left, out of the drone's camera view. Keep watching and you'll understand Al's vigilance. The other three horses are subordinates or potentially offspring. One in particular is the teenager of the family and the one who is testing leadership skills. He's Spunky and let's call him Spunkmeyer. If he had headphones and a video game in his hands, he'd be just like his human counterparts. He'll be the one doing the back talking. Keep watching and you'll see. They have a long journey home to the high country and Al is just like any father with his family, driving the car and can't wait to get home. If you're a dad and you're watching this right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Keep watching and you'll see what the dynamics of a wild horse family looks like each and every day. What a life it must be living wild and free. Now watch Al. He's still looking at those guys off to the left. So for a pack leader, it's always a challenge. But they're on their way home. Yeah. Al is watching that weird bird out in the sky that's following us. Whatever. Look at that long furry coat. That's his winter coat. They're still sporting that. He looks like an old teddy bear from a thrift store. And that's a good looking girl right there. It's a pretty scene. And they're on their way home. That guy right there, that's Spunkmeyer. 
He's looking for trouble. Go get him, Mom. <laughs> Mama's after him. Yeah, get it out of your system, because here comes Pop. I love this. Spunkmeyer, he's trying. And Pop won't have nothing to do with it here. And Mama, three socks, she's going, what is going on? Get back in line, you. <laughs> I love this. It's family. Doesn't matter if it's human or if it's horses. It's no different. I can relate. I'm sure you can too. In a second here, you're going to see where they're headed. They're on their way home, and they still got a ways to go. Look at that sunset, those long shadows. I love this. If you have enjoyed your flight, please like, share, and subscribe for more great entertainment from Easter Films, D-O-T-C-O-M, here on YouTube.